Hey guys, this is Jay. Today we are going to see how to create invoice template in Photoshop. Before getting started, you can download all the files used in this tutorial. Link in the description, download it, use it. If you got any doubt, let me know in the comment section. I'll help you. In case if you want that completely designed .psd file means, hit the like button soon after reaching 100 likes, I'll give you the download link. Fine, let's get started. First go to the folder you downloaded, there you will see a PSD file called invoice, open the file inside Photoshop. This one is a design ready file, you can straight away start designing it, size is A4, I have given you the color palette, you can use it if you want. Now next step we are going to create a solid color background, for that go to the background folder, create a layer, now go to color picker, select white color. Now I'm going to fill the color using keyboard shortcut alt backspace. Next I'm going to create guidelines for that we're going to create a shape for that. Go to guides folder create a layer. Now go to color picker and select any color you want. I'm going with green. Now go to shapes tool select rectangle tool. Now give a single click and create a rectangle which reads 1200 by 320. Now we are going to use this shape as a reference to create guidelines. First I am going to create horizontal guidelines. Next enabling free transform tool I am going to rotate it 90 degree. Now I am going to create vertical guidelines. Now you can disable the rectangle shape. Next we are going to bring in a, our company logo. For that select the image folder. Now go to the folder you downloaded. There you will see a mockup logo. Open the file inside Photoshop. Of course you can use your logo. Drag and drop the logo inside our canvas. Now by enabling free transform tool Ctrl T. I am going to resize the image. I will place it somewhere here. Fine, I'll settle with this one. Next, we are going to add company name. For that, create a layer inside text folder. Go to color picker, select black color. Now, enable text tool. The font I'm using is a free font. Name is Lato. I'll give a link in the description. You can download it. I'll keep the style as black and font size as 20. Now type your company name, I'll change the text color to blue by sampling it from the color palette. Next we are going to add a line here, for that go to design folder, create a layer, now go to color picker and sample the blue color this one. Next go to shapes tool, select line tool. Make sure the weight is 8 pixels. Now by holding shift key, I am going to create a line like so. Now adjust the spacings using your keyboard arrow keys. Next we are going to add name and contact information here. For that go to the text folder, create a layer, go to color picker and select black color here i'm going to use the very same font i'm going with style as bold and i'll keep the font size as 10 now type in your text now i'll create a duplicate copy I use keyboard shortcut Ctrl J. I'll change it as name. Now I'll change the font color as blue by sampling it from the color palette. Now I'll create another copy for des designation Ctrl J. Now I'll change the font size to 12 and color to black.
Next, we are going to add our contact information. Before that, let's bring in icons. For that, go to the folder you downloaded. There you will see a PSG file called icons. Open the file. Now drag and drop the icons folder inside our canvas. Yes, this is a pre-designed icon. You can use it in your projects. Now make sure to place the icons folder right above text folder. I'll place the icons here. Adjust the spacings. Now add your contact information. I'm going with same font size as 9 and I'll keep the style as regular. Now select all the contact information text layer we created so far by holding shift key in your keyboard and click the folder icon and place it inside a folder. I'll name the folder as address. Next we are going to add invoice text and barcode for that create a layer. Now go to color picker. Sorry, we already got black color. Now enable text tool. I'll keep the font style as black and size as 40. Now type invoice. Next we are going to add barcode image. Actually this one is optional. You can skip this process if you want. For that go to the folder you downloaded. There will see a mockup barcode image. Open the image inside Photoshop. Now drag and drop the image inside our canvas. Now I'll place it inside image folder. Adjust the spacings. Next we are going to add date information. Before that let's create a bar here. For that go to design folder, create a layer. Now go to color picker. Select blue color by sampling it from the color palette. Now select rectangle tool by holding shift key create a rectangle shape like so. Adjust the spacings. Now add your date information. For that go to the text folder create a layer. I'm going with white color here. I'll keep the font size as 8. I'll select white color. I'll keep the font size as 8. Stylus bold. Fine, our date information is ready. Now we are done with the top part. Let's move to the table part. First, we are going to create a bar. For that, go to design folder, create a layer. Now go to color picker. Select black color. Now select rectangle tool. Now give a click and create a rectangle shape which reads 2484 by 268. Click OK and now I'm going to place the bar at the center right here. Next, we are going to change the layer name as 1. Now we are going to add gradient color effect, right click, blending option, select gradient overlay, there select the fourth one, this one. Now we are going to add three color stops. I'll create the first here, second one here and third one here. Now I'm going to sample the color from our color palette. Fine, now our gradient bar is ready. Click OK. Now I'm going to change the angle as 0. I'll keep the style as linear and I'll increase the scale to 150. So now our gradient overlay effect is ready. Click OK. Next, we are going to create a duplicate copy. Ctrl J. I'll bring the bar down below and place it here. I'll edit the layer name as 2 and I'll delete the layer effects. Now we are going to change the bar color. For that, double click the thumbnail. 
and sample the gray color from the color palette click ok now i'll reduce opacity down to 25 percent next i'll create another duplicate copy ctrl j i'll name it as 3 adjust the position change the opacity as 100 i'll repeat the very same step another copy ctrl j i'll name it as 4 move the bot down below i'll change the opacity as 25 percent another one this one reads 5 i'll keep the opacity as 100 now we've created our boss next we are going to add a line at the bottom here for that create a layer go to color picker sample the blue color now go to shapes tool select line tool make sure the weight is 8 pixels now by holding shift key create a line like so zoom in and place it perfectly at the bottom here now we are done with the table now we are done with the table design part next we are going to add our table text content for that go to text folder create a layer now go to color picker and select black color i'm going to use the very same font i'll keep the font style as bold and i'll keep the font size as 15 now type in your table headings I'll create a duplicate copy Control J. This one reads price. I'll create, create another duplicate copy Control J. This one reads quantity. Now I'll create another duplicate copy. This one reads total. Now by using your keyboard arrow keys adjust the spacings. Fine. Now we are going to create other table text content for that create a layer. Go to color picker. I am going to select blue color. I will keep the font style as bold then 15 now type in your text i'll place it here now i'm going to create a duplicate copy ctrl j i'll change the font color to black before that i'll reduce the style as regular and font size to 8 now i'll change the color to black now add your informations Fine. Next, I'm going to create another duplicate copy. This one is for price. Now I'll change the color to black. I'll keep the font style as regular and 15 font size. I'll create another copy for quantity. I'll edit the text. Now create another one for total. Now by holding shift key select all the text layers we created so far. Those 5 text layers we created. Now place it inside a folder. Name the folder as 1. Now create a duplicate copy. Ctrl J. Now move the text layers down below here. Now create another duplicate copy. Place it down below here. Make sure the spacings are even. Now create another one now change the folder names now i'm going to edit my table contents i'll fast forward the process next we are going to create subtotal tax and discount tax information here for that go to the text folder and create a layer go to color picker select blue color i'm going to keep the font style as bold and size as 15 
type subtotal text information adjust the spacings now i'm going to create a duplicate copy ctrl j i'll change the font color to black this one is for tax information i'll keep the style as regular and size as 13 next i'll create another duplicate copy this one for discount Next, we are going to create a bar here. For that, go to the design folder, select the line one, layer, create a duplicate copy, control J. I'll place it above all the layer. Before that, I'll name it as bar. Now I'll place it above all the layers. Now bring down the layer down below here. Now enable free transform tool and edit the size. Fine, I'll settle with this one. Here we are going to add our final total text content. For that, we are going to create a layer inside text folder. Go to color picker. I'm going with white color here. I'll keep the font style as bold, size as 15. Now type your total price. Now adjust the spacings. Fine. Next, we are going to add terms and condition text content. For that, create a layer. Go to color picker. Select black color. I am going to keep the style as bold and size as 10. Type your terms and condition text. Next, we are going to create our signature text content. For that, go to the text folder, go to color picker and sample the blue color. This one, click OK. I'll keep the font style as bold and 13. Now type your name and designation. Now I'm going to bring in my digital signature image. Actually, this one is optional. For that, select image folder. Now go to the folder you downloaded. There you'll see a mock-up sign image. Open the file inside Photoshop. As I said before, this one is optional. Drag and drop the image and place it inside our canvas. Fine. Our invoice is almost ready. Now I'll name the layer as sign. Now as a final step, we're going to create a bar down below here for that go to the design folder get a duplicate copy of the bar layer i'll name it as bottom bar now move the rectangle shape down below here enable free transform tool and resize the shape so there you go now our invoice is ready now all you got to do is disable the color palette layer now we export the file as png or pdf and get it printed so that's it guys i hope this video is useful to you if you find this video helpful don't forget to hit the like button for more tutorials subscribe to our channel click the bell icon thanks for watching take care